Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips. And today I just wanted to have a very quick um, pop in and talk about the importance of still teaching techniques even though we're teaching online and yes it is more challenging and definitely it is harder. However, it's important that we still do it and I think the at the heart of all good technique teaching that we're going to do at the bedrock actually is addressing how pupils are sitting. Now, I don't know about you, but I know from a lot of teachers that they found online lessons having a glimpse into the student's uh, studio or teaching or practicing environment has been really interesting. And I've heard some horror stories of um, tiny little keyboards all sat on the floor or um, things on shelves or child standing up and I think children do like to stand up actually quite a lot when they're practicing when they're practicing um, but obviously um, at, this is our opportunity unique opportunity if you like to actually have a look at what's going on there and with the parents around it's even an opportunity to get something done about it so it might be something as simple as get a cushion or it might be something as simple fundamental and absolutely vital as getting the stool the right distance away from the piano or the digital piano. And I have one strategy that I use for this that works every time. And that is that I ask the student to stand, um, to stand up so that they can stand between the keyboard and the piano stool. It's very simple. All they have to do is they have to stand up like this. They have to make sure that they have space between the keyboard, which is here, and the piano stool, which is here. Can't quite see it, but it's there. Can they stand sideways? Can they stand sideways and comfortably? And if they can do that, then they can sit down and you know that they've got enough space here. And then, of course, they will want to pull it forward. Yes, so no, have to leave it there. And you just sit yourself when you sit now on the front of the stool using the top third of your legs okay and then of course they're able to float those hands onto the piano without that kind of cramped in position i know that this is also quite a popular thing to do being able to stretch your arms out um, and that that will work as a follow-up as well i do find that sometimes if they do that the stool is still tucked in and we want that stool back because they need to have they might not be playing out there yet or they might be but they need to feel that 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 width of a piano and feel like um, the wonderful pianist Philip Folk says he gives his piano a hug every time he goes to play it so they want to be able to give that piano a hug from the piano stool and if they're sitting close they haven't got enough space without that posture without that basic um, looking at that strategy of how do I get my stool far enough away then all the rest of the technique kind of is going to fall to pieces isn't it and I think if we get that right, then we're really set to, um, to to help our students. And of course, at the moment, we're spending all spending a lot of time at the computer. So, you know, this is also happening. A lot of hunching. I'm speaking for myself here. So helping them to open up. And um, I find one of the best ways of doing this is to use toys. I have lots of toys around. I'm sorry, but I do. I have the zebra and I have a giraffe have a floppy lion his posture isn't great is it when he's sitting there and I have a, a, a monkey with very long arms but you know the zebra is quite nice for, for the younger children how look how tall and straight the zebra was sitting yeah can you sit that tall and straight and um, I can show them till I'm blue on the face how tall and straight I'm sitting but it's nowhere near as good as when the zebra shows them how tall and straight so you know toys definitely bring the online lesson to life and for the older children I find using um, using one of their heroes. So a lot of children are deeply into um, Harry Potter, of course. You know, how would Harry Potter sit at the piano? How would Harry Potter sit if he was about to cast the spell? And the primary children in particular, and even going into the first year of, of secondary, will, will really respond to that and show that lovely posture. And you might have to keep reminding them with a little bit of Harry Potter magic along the way but um, it's worth it because it then allows everything to function at the piano and for them to produce the best sound that they can so thank you to everybody who's popped in I can see a lot of people here I can see Jane is there 
and Kathy said hello Kath hope you're all well up there and um, Joanna thank you very much and you're saying you need a zebra yeah he's, he's, he's a pretty pretty Zebedee of course Zebedee the zebra is pretty special um, and tall giraffe is quite quite fun as well um, and the kids love it the kids love these you know and if you're using a piano safari um, uh, book then of course you'll you'll recognize these from piano safari and another little thing I do is I will start the lesson with my um, piano safari animals linked along here so this is sakurai zebra this is tall giraffe and then we've got lion tour and we've got if at the end we've got one then we've got monkey and they will be sitting on my keyboard like this and then when we start the lesson there they go look when we start the lesson the um i'll say oh you choose which uh, i'll put the camera on the keyboard and the child will choose which particular technical exercise study they're going to do to start with so um thank you anastasia yes okay stan that lovely to hear that you, you you're going to work on that with with all your pupils already and yes i love philip folk and hugging the piano it's just such a lovely an idea and it just opens up all the right things and it's like saying hello isn't it all the time thank you all so much gosh got lots of people watching today so thank you all so much for coming and um see you all soon take care stay safe enjoy your piano teacher keep smiling as well bye for now <laughs>